up, Critter. I'll bet you ain't up for a week with them quills a festering in your nose. Had me a little jack one time, first time I come down in the canyon, run off with a herd of wild burrs. Now, this is gonna hurt a little bit, so you just gotta grin and bear it. Hold still, you little devil. <laughs> Well, danged if you ain't grinning. You ain't a devil at all. You're an angel. A bright angel. Just the same as the name of this here crick. Hey, that's a good name for you. Bright angel. I'm gonna call you Bridie for short. <laughs> Look, Bridie, fool's gold. But sometimes you find a real thing right close by. Must have fell from way up there. <laughs> what you up to, Bridie? You sticking your nose in somebody else's business again? Well, what is it? By crack. This ain't fool's gold. It's too soft and too heavy. Dang, if it ain't a sure enough nugget. There must be more of this where this come from, but how in tarnation are we going to get up there and see? You're doing fine, Bridie. Just keep on a-going. Look at that. We're rich, Bridie. Richer Croesus. After a lifetime of wandering in the wilderness, of searching, digging, sweating, freezing, the good Lord see fit to bestow his blessing on me. Thank you, Lord. I'll use it for good. You can bet on that. Thank you, too, Bridie. If it hadn't been for you being so dang nosy about that lizard, I'd never have found it. Right, Angel. You sure was well named. <laughs>
Plum wore out. One whiff of that spring smell, and you want to skedaddle. Howdy, Jim. It's me. Howdy, Hezekiah. Had to come up for supplies, so I thought I'd stop by your place on the way. Mighty glad you did. So you brought a friend. Yeah, this here's Bridie. I found him down at Bright Angel Creek with his nose just plum full of porcupine quills. I know this old Arizona canary. You do? I made the trail you come up. Oh, I figured he knew the way. He never took no detours. Like one of them migrator birds. Spends the summer up here when it's cool and hightails it down the canyon soon to feel winter coming on. Hope you can stay and take potluck with me. Oh, you know, I never turned down no hospitality. Who? Now, Bridie, you're free to run and play. You better put him in the corral. Ah, oh, Bridie won't run away. Afraid you won't see him for a while. Ah, oh, Bridie will be back. Yep, next fall. Nary a sign of that ungrateful critter. I warned you. Bright is a wild, free spirit, something us humans wish we was. Yeah, if you're right. You and me's loners, all right, but we ain't free. You're tied down hunting lions for the government, and me, I'm grubbing for gold. By the way, how you doing? Any luck at all? Just been busting for you to ask me that. Take a look at this. Bridie led me to it. Comes from a great big vein up above the Colorado. It don't peter out no matter how far I dig. I sure am happy for you, old time. After all these years searching, you more than deserve it. Oh, uh, how about another little snort to celebrate? I don't mind if I do. Say when. When? Well, here's to you. No. Oh. Here's to your gold mine. <coughs> it sure hits the spot. Go on, pitch in. Remember the last time we saw each other? Sure do. When you come down to fish in Bright Angel Creek. I told you anybody had searched for gold down there was plum pixelated. Yeah. <laughs> mmm, nothing in this world beats venison. Ain't venison. Lion. That's what I said. Lion steak beats venison any old day. Yeah. I certainly forgot to line my watch. Well, my grandpappy carried it clear out to California in 49. Well, I'm generally rolled up my sugans for now. Well, you're welcome to spend the night here if you don't mind bedding down on the floor. Oh, I'm much obliged. I couldn't sleep in a bed anyway. Too blame soft. I wonder if that dang burr misses me as much as I miss him. Dang, Bridie could at least show up to say goodbye. Like I said, you'll find him down the canyon when the cold winds start blowing. Yeah, well, much obliged for everything, Jim. I'll leave your mule in the corral when I get back. Oh, Nellie will pack your supplies down to your camp. 
Just give her a lap on the rump. Sure. Hey, home. Thank you. I ain't as far as I used to be. Take it easy, old timer. Be careful when you start trading in them nuggets. Sure will. Don't want nobody trying to jump this claim. So long, Jim. So long, old timer. fast, Bones. Lucky thing that lion didn't get a bigger bite. Hello, Freddy. You're looking for old Tom. He's back digging in the canyon. He's set up Nellie like he promised. Hi, Uncle Jimmy. Well, morning, Homer. What you doing out oh. here? You got a special delivery letter. Much flies. Pa says must be pretty important. It's from Washington, D.C. Oh, I wonder what it is. So you got yourself a donkey. That's Brighty. He don't belong to nobody but himself. Hey, this is important. It's from Teddy Roosevelt, the president. Honest? You know him? Nobody appears to know me. He says he's heard I'm the best lion hunter in these parts. Wants me to be his guide on a hunting trip next month. Gee, Wilkins. I'd sure be proud to meet him. Maybe we can fix that. Just think, we'll be hobnobbing with the hero of San Juan Hill. Well, whose letter is this, anyway? Tim, this is the way to live, close to the earth and sky. I reckon it beats the desk chair at that, Mr. President. My friends call me Colonel. Okay, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, Brady? Ain't the least bit stuck up, is he? I bring you this way because I got a little surprise for you over yonder. Delighted. That's quite a gully, ain't it, Mr. President? Uh, Colonel, nothing like it anywhere else in the world. No words can ever describe it. Next time I come, I'm gonna bring my sons with me. <laughs> hey, old Bones has hit something already. Come on, Colonel. Go get a boat!
Right. Yeah. Is his dad hurt, Uncle Jimmy? Just a few scratches. Lucky he's carrying that pack saddle. Be right with you, Colonel. It's okay. Good. I thought Burr was all right. Me too. Which one of you hit him? I reckon the Colonel did. You look closely, you'll see two bullet holes right behind the ear. Gee, Wilkins, that sure was good shooting. Plenty of daylight left. Let's skin this year cat and go for another. Bully for you. <laughs> that is the most delicious meal I ever had in my life. You look like you've had plenty. Of... I reckon we all worked up a powerful appetite chasing them lions. More fun for the lion when he chases you. <laughs> Where else on earth can you dine in the midst of such magnificence? Just look at those colors. They keep changing from moment to moment. When I get back to Washington, I must see what can be done about making this a national park. This wonder of nature must be kept exactly as it is now. That's right, Colonel. Be ashamed to spoil it. Must be kept for our children, and our children's children, all of those who come after us, to see and enjoy. The ages have been at work on it. Man can only mar it. You little old rascal, you! I sure am glad to see you again. Look, flapjacks for dinner tonight. Ain't that batter nice and bubbly, huh? <laughs> you wait till you see that big tunnel I dug while you was up pleasuring yourself in them green pastures. Hand us out a bunch of gold, too. Got it all stashed away for us. How about a little music, huh? While we're waiting. I got it at the trading post. Hey, what is it? I don't hear nothing but the river. You was right, Friday. We got ourselves a visitor. Howdy, stranger. Evening. Saw your fire, thought I'd make your acquaintance. Well, come on up, mister. <laughs> Been so long since I've seen a human being, you kind of startled me. My name's Hezekiah Appleyard, but folks call me old time. They call me Irons, Jake Irons. Well, you're just in time to share his grub, Mr. Irons. Well, that's mighty friendly of you. Fact is, I was headed for my camp, but that's pretty far up the river. Well, you just sit down. I'll mix up another bunch of flapjacks in a jiffy. Burrow yours was fixing to kick me. Oh, I never known him do that before. Maybe he's a little jealous about sharing his supper. Now, Friday, you behave yourself. You've been uh, prospecting, I see. Struck anything rich? Oh, nothing to brag about. Just a little old copper vein. Hardly worth packing out. Sure. Well, I don't like prying into nobody's secrets. Don't like nobody prying into mine. Well, here, eat them while they're hot. Might taste here with honey on them. That's the way Bridie likes them. Kind of spoil that Jack, don't you? Oh, just give him what he's due. You know burrs are sacred animals. You're pulling my leg. No. Did you ever notice that every last one of them has a cross marked on his back? And you know why? Because it was a little old lop-eared fellow like Bridie that carried the Lord Jesus into Jerusalem. And the people running ahead of laying down a carpet of palm leaves for them. And ever since then, burrs is sacred. Yeah, I've never heard that one before. And another thing, burrs never really die. They got souls just the same as human beings. <laughs> now I know you're loco. Yeah, it shows you how much you know. Did you ever see a dead burr? Well, come to think of it, I never did. Ah, you see? <laughs> oh, my flapjacks. Hey, it's a slobbery this way. Yeah, 
This coffee's blacker than a horse thief's heart. I like my coffee black that way. Well, what did you say you were doing down here, Mr. Uh, Irons? I didn't say. Since you asked, I've been trapping beaver in the side canyons. Yeah. Ain't seen so many beavers around these parts. Well, that's why I'm heading out of this godforsaken hole. Take what skins I got and climb out in the morning. North Rim ought to be snowed in by now. Well, there ain't no trails on this side anyway. Oh, yes, there is. But only Bridie here knows the way. Well, I'm going out the way I come. Cross the river on that cable boat, up to the South Rim, and then head for Flagstaff. I can make more poker one night than I can trapping all winter long. The card's never been lucky for me. Oh? Just the riches of the earth. Is that it, old timer? Well, I better be moving along. Well, enjoy chewing the fat with you, Mr. Irons. That bird talk gets kind of one-sided. Thanks for the grub. So long. Goodbye, you sacred critter. I'm kind of glad he didn't ask to spend the night, ain't you, Brighty? Did you see that black look he gave me when I mentioned horse thief? He ain't no trapper. More than likely, he's down here hiding from the law. Just don't forget to come back. You just found a little copper, did you? Thought you was leaving the canyon. What'd you follow me up here for? Oh, I didn't want to go without seeing what you was up to. Yeah, from the looks of things, you did strike it rich, didn't you? So what if I did? It's nobody's business but my own. Oh, now, I don't know about that. This is too big a job for one man. How about you and me going partners? 50-50 split. Me and Bridie found this place, and we're going to work it ourselves. It's better than me taking it all, ain't it, old time? You don't scare me none, and nobody steals my diggings. I got friends that know I staked this here claim. <laughs> the only friend you got down here is that lop-eared jackass, and he ain't going to carry no tail. <laughs>
Captain Broomtail. We've got a long way to go. time you had it up. Can't you run away from old Lila? Maybe you got tired of working. Ain't like his kind of leave the saddle pack on him. He got so as like he'd been carrying it for weeks. Yeah, Friday. Now you can go free. Well, me'll make it up on old time and go on. Come on, Brady. He don't want to leave us, Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> oh, it looks like he wants us to go back down the trail. Maybe old timer's sick or something. Well, it won't hurt nothing to find out. He ain't no spring chicken. Some fishy here, Homer. Never know Hezekiah to go nowhere without his hat. The sheer print weren't made by Hezekiah. Heels too deep. Then somebody might have snuck up on him to steal his stuff? Oh, bushwhacked him to jump his claim. He'd struck gold somewhere up in the canyon. Keep your sheer hat. Maybe you know what happened. I sure wish you could talk. My God, he is trying to tell us something. Come on, let's follow him. There's a mighty long ways down there. Yeah, the town all folded up in a bunch of blankets. 
Looks like somebody's been sleeping here. Yeah, that somebody's been digging here recently. Right. Yeah, here's the rest of old timers' gear, gun and all. You think the old timer's dead? Sure looks like it. First his hat and his old car bar, and he wouldn't leave neither one if none know him. You reckon killer's still around somewhere? Else? Ain't likely. I figure he cleared out with all the gold he could carry. Probably try to get Brighty towed it for him, Brighty busted loose. You don't want nobody else finding Hezekiah's mine. Now, if this here murderer did top out, he'd like to cross the river in the cable boat and took the old hand's trail up to the south rim. Couldn't he go out the way we come down? Yeah. Not without Brighty to guide him, he couldn't. No, sir. I bet that polecat's headed for the flagstaff right now to file a claim. What are you going to do about it, Uncle Jimmy? Get back to your pa's store as quick as we can. Call the sheriff and flagstaff and tell him to be on the lookout. <sighs> I'm making a solemn oath right here and now to catch old timer's killer. If and it's the last thing I ever do. All right. Friday, run on ahead. Whoa! He's busting a gut to get up to the car dam. Give me a canteen. Whoa! Keep these for evidence. Of course, this don't prove he's dead. You well, know. hell's fire, Sheriff. How much more do you want? Here's the guy who's going. Somebody's been working his mind. I know, Jim, but legally, we don't have much of a case without a corpus delecta. I mean, a corpse? Yeah. Well, why don't you say so without using them foreign words? <laughs> My deputy and I searched both sides of that river as far as we could get. Not a body anywhere. Ain't you ever heard this saying that Colorado never gives up its dead? I was hoping to find someone living down there. That's the trouble with that canyon. There's a million hidey holes down there. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time a fugitive hold up there. Did you check in town to find out if anybody had filed a new claim? First thing I done after your call. Oh, there's plenty of new claims, all right, but not in the canyon area. Sorry, Jim. I'm doing my best. Well, if you don't find him, I will. Dead bird. Did you do that? I bet there ain't another bird in the world smart enough to drown the lion all by itself. 
you must have had a mighty big tussle. Them wounds ain't gonna heal unless we can keep them covered up. How in tarnation we gonna do that? Don't you laugh. She has the best thing I can think of. I reckon you won't be needing these britches no more. Here. Yeah, your wounds is healed up just fine. Won't show at all. Once you get your winter coat. Here. Leave the flapjack for you. But that reminds you of old timer. Well, I ain't forgot my promise. About time you and me went back down there and see if we can catch that vomit who's working his mind. Yeah. Oh. Hey, that looks bad. We better find some shelter. Come on. Nobody gonna find his car is mine now. I just hope that vomit that killed him was inside when he come down. Anyway, let's just see if anybody's been using that cable boat. Old kit and caboodle wiped out in the flood. And that killer's alive anywhere is down here. He's trapped till the rig a new cable across. Let's just look around for a spell before we head back. Come on, Brady. Nameplate on it. To James. James. <laughs> James Owen from his friend Theodore Roosevelt, 1905. Ain't you mighty proud? Got to admit, I am, Homer. You gonna use his hot and long lines? No. Too fancy for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's where she belongs. Well, show off. Without bragging in so many words. Look at Brady. He's admiring it too. <laughs> <laughs> Because you want to win it with us, but don't you? See you next spring, buddy. Next.
Well, look at the big beaver I done caught. You ornery hammerhead. There. That trap ain't broke your leg. You're gonna carry my oar out this time for sure. Now, come on, you. Come on. It's a good thing you can still walk, or I'd be eating burrow meat instead of beaver tail. Injuns say there just ain't nothing beats burrow. If you try to get away one more time, I'll be having you for supper tomorrow. Uh, I know you was down here with that old man looking for me a while back. Well, ain't nobody catches Jake Iron. Jackass, you're a goner now.
Nice, Bridie. Nice, Bridie. There, Bridie. There, nice, Bridie. Now, who said lightning don't strike twice? You'd like back across, wouldn't you? Well, this time you're going the other way. Now. I guess we'd better change our plans. Come on, Broomtail. I don't want to answer no questions from him. When I get out of Arizona Territory, I'll be safe from the law. And you're gonna take me. Keep trying, operator, and if you can't get through, see if you can reach a Kabab trading post. Of all the luck, the line must be down to Fredonia. The snow is still too deep for us to get in. The only thing I know to do is to try to get a message through to Jim Owen. What's the matter? Ain't you never seen snow before? Get going.
Club at Trading Post. Flagstaff. I can hardly hear you. Your phone's been out of order. Who? Oh, hello, Sheriff. Oh, Pa had to go to Canab and see the doctor. Well, you sound big enough to handle this, Sonny. I've been trying to reach Jim Owen all day. Know where he lives in town? Think you can get a message to him? Sure I can. I know where he lives, and I got snowshoes. What you want me to tell him, Sheriff? Just say I got a call from the South Rim Station yesterday that an armed man crossed the river. And tell Owen that we think this may be the killer we've been looking for. And he may be headed out your way. Gee Willie, sure I'll tell him. Bye. Eli, I gotta go find Uncle Jimmy. It's very important. <laughs> Sure am much obliged to you, Homer. Tell your pa to take care of yourself now. Oh, gee, Uncle Jimmy, I thought I was going with you. This ain't no fitting job for it, boy. You stay here and look after the store. Oh, if uh, Sheriff Carson calls again, you tell him I'll be watching out for anybody coming up out of the canyon. Goodbye now. you needed help. I ought to tan your heart. Don't be mad. You can't send me back now. All right, come on. We get to my cabin. You're gonna stay there. Looks like I got company. You wait. I'll see what we're up against.
my stuff. I'll go in first. If there's no shooting, you follow in a minute. Reckon it's him? Gotta be him. Can't accuse him of murder till we get some proof. This happens to be my cabin, stranger. Uh, well, I apologize. The fact is, I got caught in a blizzard and had to take shelter. Yes, you also make mighty free with my belongings. Uh, well, I'm sure sorry about that, but uh, we're glad to pay for the grub I ate. I didn't mean no harm. What are you aiming to do? First, I asked you a few questions. I want it straight. Well, sure, but you don't have to point that gun at me. I ain't no crook. What are you? Beaver trapper. Been working down in the canyon and run out of grub. <laughs> Didn't figure there'd be so much snow up here this time of year. How long have you been down there? About a month. What's your name? Uh, Benson. Sam Benson. Where are you from, Mr. Benson? I come from back east, Abilene, Kansas. <coughs> <coughs> Had to come out here for my health. Bet you did. Stealing horses or rustling cattle? I told you I wasn't no crook. Why are you trying to make off with my stuff? Even trying to steal a rifle, Teddy Roosevelt, give me. I was just admiring it. You can't blame a man for being curious. I, I was going to put it back before I left. I'll put it back now. Right. Now get your duds on. We're going to Fredonia, where they got a nice little calaboose for thieves like you. But I didn't steal nothing. You know that's Brighty in there? Yeah, and he's wheezing like anything. Well, bring him in here where it's warm. How come you got Brighty with you anyway? I found him wandering around the canyon with a cactus flower in his hook, and when I pulled it out, he left me up here. I wondered how you found your way up the trail. Did you feed him? Sure. Well, it was mighty poor to me. Sounds bad, fella. I gotta get some medicine in you here, Homer. Gonna have to stay here tonight. Can't leave Brady, and he sure ain't in no shape to travel. Benson, you can bed down on the floor over there tonight. Homer, as soon as I dock to Brady, I'll take over and you can get some sleep. Come here, Brady. Yeah, here. Swallow. Swallow. Quick. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a fine howdy-do. This year's good enough for Teddy Roosevelt, it's good enough for you. Oh, he, you. No wonder he's president. Anybody in the swallow this grasshopper juice and come up with big teeth a grinning is a great man. talking your sleep. You know that? What'd I say? Well, you kept a muttering, uh, he'll hang me for it. You sure must have a bad conscience. Ah, uh, you're making that up. Gee, I just look like a log. You been awake all night, Uncle Jimmy? Yep. This fail and get me some snow so I had six breakfast. Plenty of it out there has been coming down all night. Gee, sure is deep. You close the door, you born the barn. We 
got just about enough grub to last two days. If me goes easy on it. Looks like we're gonna be holed up here together for quite a spell. <laughs> that don't hurt my feelings none. That calaboose ain't going nowhere. Feed me too? Sure, even prisoners get fed. Pitch in. Come out of the lasses. Brady used to be mighty fine at flapjacks. Old friend of mine taught him to like him. Name Old Tommer. Prospected down the canyon. Maybe you run across him while you was down there. Trapping beaver? Nope. I never seen nobody. Well, the canyon is a big place. Ready? There. That's one way to get that stuff inside him. He thinks us a new kind of honey. Kind of dry without nothing on it. <laughs> I'm wondering. No, it ain't that bad. <laughs> hey, you look a whole lot better, Brady, after three doses of that medicine. Ain't you gonna get some sleep tonight, Uncle Jimmy? Well, not while we got Mr. Benson as a guest, I ain't. Wouldn't be polite. Made himself a good, strong pot of coffee. So he won't go to sleep on it. They was. All we need is a lot of sun to settle it. We'll be leaving in the morning. <laughs> All right, right. There just ain't another flapjack left. Sure wish that would have saved some of that breakfast. I'm powerful hungry. Well, I could make it some uh, moon lily tea. What's that? You hear a Mormon tea? Sure. Well, moon lily is something like that, only it's made with uh, pods. The Navajos drink it to give themselves strength when they're on a long trip. Let's have some. Well, you get me some clean snow, and I'll brew us up a pot full. That's been bothering me. What's that? My Teddy Roosevelt rifle goes the other way. Eh. All right. What'd you do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. A nameplate. Took it off so you could steal my new rifle. Where'd you hide it? Well, I threw it in the fireplace. I'll give you just 10 seconds to get it out of there. Oh. Here, Homer, keep him coming. Oh. Oh. My most cherished possession. I can clean it up. Well, clean it up. Let it be just as shiny as twas.
Moon Lily Tea. Home I get urine, will you? There. It's as good as new. Uh, she'll do. As soon as we have our drink, you can find the screws and put it back where you found it. Mm. It's kind of strange. We're right tasty if you don't have nothing else. <sighs> yep. That's the genuine Moon Lily, all right. It'll be better than if we had some sugar, but we'd plumb out. Mm. What did you say this is supposed to do for you? Make you feel good, like whiskey. Well, it ain't working on me yet. I don't feel good at all. Oh, it takes a little time. You'll find out. Now, to get the full effect, you got to swallow it all at once. Well, I don't see how you can get that bitter stuff down like that. <sighs> Go on, take a big gulp. Make you feel frisky as brighty before you took sick. No, the Navajo's got another use for a moon lily tea, like whiskey. It loosens the tongue, makes you tell the truth. What? That's fact. Now, you take the instance some buck steals a horse, medicine man makes him drink a bowl, ask something for you know it, he's blabbing about the way he hit it. Glad I never stole nothing, except once. I took some peaches out of Brigham Lee's orchard. Oh, I knew you're confessing already. See how quick it works? <clears throat> the Navi sure knows the magic power of the moon lily tea. <sighs> Give me the cramps. Feel like I've been poisoned. Funny, he ain't hurt us now. You feel all right? I feel fine. Ooh. My guts is on fire. I gotta get out. No, you don't. Not till you confess. C confess what? How you killed old timer? No, no, I'm dying. You gotta let me out. Not till you tell the truth. We know you're done him in that talk. I can't no, talk. No use trying to lie with that moon lily churning around in your belly. We know you killed him to get his mind. That's his gold oil and them sacks of urine. No. No, that don't prove nothing. It ain't evidence. I gotta get some air. He's sitting right there. I have to tie you up. Here, Homer. Take the watch. I ain't got his watch. <laughs> the kind of watch I meant. I guess you trapped yourself there. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. This year's old timers. It's all the proof we need. Ain't another watch in the world like it. Now, get that concoction out of you. We make a full confession. Ain't nothing like good old Moon Lily Tea to bring out the truth. <laughs> You and the lean do, only you'd freeze to death before they could hang it. Ain't you awful tired, Uncle Jimmy? Going so long without any sleep? I sure am. Would you like to take over for me while I get 40 winks? Sure. Don't you let that murdering vomit do nothing. Don't reckon you can the way we got him tied up. Yeah, you better cover him up with a blanket. We don't want him kitchen cold.
Get away. Sure did. to an artery. You go on there, we can't stop it. Try to keep him from moving. Dirt fell a bit under salt, worked just like a sponge. Think you'll make it? I don't know. I'm sure saying my prayers inside. Gotta keep them quiet. This the pray. You'll soon be spring again. You'll be eloping off down your trail. <laughs> Poor little wow and old tuck it out. Bleeding stopped. Couldn't sleep for a while. Want to seal up. Settle for old timer and Brady. Thank you. 
right hand. Hey, after you, mister, whatever your name is. Riding on this old door? Hey, man, I like it. It's the only way I know to get him to horse doctor. He's riding like one that Rogers and Johnny. Well, look at that. I reckon that's the first time they ever seen men walking on a bar ride. Buddy's looking kind of spunky already. Yep. Come spring, I bet you'll be a frolicker down in the canyon again. You know, old timer was right. Burrows is sacred critters. They don't never really die. <laughs> This old world has seen a lot of changes since Teddy Roosevelt's day. But his dream came true, and the Grand Canyon will stay the same as long as there is a world. Friday has long since left this earth, but some animals, like some men, leave a trail of glory behind them. They give their spirit to the place where they have lived, a part of the rocks and streams, the wind and the sky. Friday's spirit lives on, forever wild, forever free.